What is up? What is going on? Welcome to the latest installment of Coronavirus I Teach You From Home. Uh, I am Coach Patterson. If you're from a different class, welcome. Hopefully uh, you find these videos helpful. Hopefully they bring you something better than just sitting at home reading a PowerPoint. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, so today we're talking about Maribu Lamar uh, and his presidency. So Maribu Lamar is going to become the second president of the Republic of Texas in 1838. Uh, Sam Houston elects not to uh, run for re-election, or he can't run for re-election. Um, so Maribu Lamar steps in there. In the Texas Constitution, you cannot be uh, there. Could, you can't have multiple terms in a row. Um, so it was time for a change to be had, and so Maribu Lamar comes in. Now, if you remember, Maribu Lamar was Sam Houston's uh, vice president in his first term as president, as Sam Houston's first term as president. So Maribu Lamar is going to take office in 1838. He defeats Robert Wilson uh, to win that presidency. And Maribu Lamar is basically going to turn everything that Sam Houston did into uh, oblivion. He's going to try to basically undo everything uh, that Sam Houston did and uh, make it look like Sam Houston was a complete and utter failure as a president. So, in order to do that, um, basically everything that Sam Houston stood for, Maribu Lamar is going to do the opposite of. Um, so. Maribu Lamar, number one, opposed annexation. He believed that uh, Texas could stand on its own, uh, that they did not need the United States to uh, be with them. They didn't, they didn't need their help. They didn't need anything from the United States um, in order to succeed as a country. And so he's going to basically shut off all, all communication, all ties with uh, the United States during his presidency. Uh, he opposed peace with the natives. So where Sam Houston was working to uh, become peaceful with the Native Americans, Maribu Lamar wasn't. He was out. He uh, didn't want anything to do with them. He didn't want them in Texas. He's going to actually try to drive them out of Texas, um, which is just going to upset the Native Americans even more and basically make them a bigger problem in Texas than what they already were. Now the Native Americans uh, didn't want their land taken, so um, that's why they were raiding. They you know, needed supplies, they didn't want their land taken, so uh, they were raiding the uh, Texas settlements and stuff like that. But when Lamar tries to take them out of Texas or drive them out, uh, it's just going to make things worse for him. Uh, he does expand the Texas Rangers, and Lamar was all about spending money, and so he's going to uh, rebuild the Texas Navy. Um, so some struggles that, that he faced. Number one, uh, he tried to kick the Cherokee out of Texas, right? Um, probably not the best idea uh, if you don't have a very big military um, and you're not able to, uh, you know, basically effectively do it. Um, it's going to be a struggle for you. So he tries to kick the Cherokee out. Uh, he accuses Chief Bow, Bowles of uh, plotting against the Republic. Uh, the Cherokee agree to leave, but only after they harvested their crops. And then Lamar says, no, nah, you can't do that. Uh, you got to go now. And if you don't go now, it's going to be a problem. And so he refuses to wait, and he orders the Texas Rangers to attack them. Now, let's honestly think about this. Now, let's honestly think about this. Would it have been a problem for Lamar to just wait, right? The Cherokee have agreed to leave. They said, okay, that's fine. We'll leave, but we'd like to take the food with us that we worked so hard to to get. Is that possible? And he says, no, nah, not possible. Get out right now or we're going to have problems. And so basically he is trying to rush to get him out when if they've already agreed to leave, they're probably not going to cause any more problems. But instead, Lamar decides that uh, he's not going to wait. And so he orders the Texas Rangers to attack and over 100 deaths into the Cherokees 
including their leader, Chief Bowles. If you're a Native American and your leader just got killed, you're probably not too happy. And they weren't. They weren't happy at all. Um, and so that's going to basically rekindle the flame of uh, problems with the Cherokee in Texas. Lamar also had a lot of financial troubles. Let's just be real. Um, so he makes these right here, which are called redbacks. Um, he makes these redbacks, which is a, a, the Texas currency, the Republic currency. Um, they honestly are a beautiful piece of money. If we were back at school, I have some replicas that I would be able to pass around, but obviously we're not, so we have to look at the picture. Um, the problem was is that there was nothing to back the currency. So when Lamar puts out this money, it's worthless from the start. And people quickly realize that, and it becomes totally worthless, so much so that the government who made the money won't even take it for taxes. They won't, it's like it's not an acceptable currency if you wanted to pay taxes with it. So with all that um, and him, you know, increasing the Navy and all that, Lamar increases the debt from $2 million that Sam Houston left to $8 million. So six million dollars in his presidency spent. And you're like, man, doesn't seem like that much. We're trillions of dollars in debt in the United States, right? But remember, okay, we're talking about 1830, 1840s money, not 2020 money. So inflation, time over that, um, you got a lot of debt. So Lamar is not not being super great. And then uh, probably the biggest issue that he had, the biggest. Uh, historical point from the Mars presidency was the council house fight. So the Comanche decided that they wanted to end the fighting uh, with the Texans with the treaty. They met the Texas leaders at the San Antonio council house, the, the city council basically. Um, the Texans demand that all Comanche prisoners be released. However, Kench, the Comanche only produced one white captive, which was Matilda Lackard. So they had, uh, you know, way more than one captive, but they only brought one with them. Uh, so the Comanche, the Texas Rangers held the Comanche captive until uh, they brought the other prisoners, which basically never happened. Uh, the Comanche started struggling and the fighting began. After it, uh, seven Texans and 35 Comanches were killed. So again, uh, basically, the, the Comanches were, were ready to just call it a truce. So why not, why not call it a truce? Instead, uh, instead of a truce, a truce, we resort to fighting, and now people are dead. So 35 Comanches and 7 Texans are dead um, just because we couldn't just wait. right? You had to keep them captive. Uh, then they started struggling, obviously, because we're talking about a war Indian tribe, a Native American tribe that's a war tribe. Um, so they're obviously not going to be happy with being held captive, uh, and then people die. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, so the Comanche killed uh, most of the prisoners uh, that they had. So basically after that, all the, all the white men that were uh, being held captive died. And then um, it basically just kept on leading to uh, more and more problems with the Native Americans and that's basically the story of Lamar's deal is problem with the Native Americans and f spending way too much money so then we have the Santa Fe expedition um, Lamar got got it in its head that he wanted to uh, add Santa Fe which is now you know New Mexico uh, into Texas but Congress didn't approve it. But he was like, again, not very patient. And so he said, well, that's fine. Congress don't want to approve it. I'll just send my men over there and we'll take it. Um, so he sent soldiers and merchants to uh, invade Santa F invite Santa Fe to uh, join the Republic of Texas. The trip was doomed from the beginning because there was a lack of supplies. Uh, Mexican troops caught the Texans uh, as they neared Santa Fe and marched into Mexico City and placed them in prison. Sorry, the microphone keeps messing up. So 
So Mexican troops caught the Texans as they neared Santa Fe and marched them to Mexico City to be placed in prison. prison. Many died. Eventually, uh, the survivors were released because of the U.S. and Britain getting involved. Um, so they, those two countries get involved, and then uh, everything kind of gets sorted out. But So what did, that's a lot of negative stuff, right? We've talked about a lot of negatives. Uh, so what did Lamar actually accomplish in his uh, time as president? Well, if you're a University of Texas fan or a Fighting Texas Aggie fan, uh, you have Mary Boo Lamar to thank for that because he actually set out public lands uh, for the first two public schools in Texas, which were the University of Texas and Texas A&M. Um, so he is known today as the father of public education um, because he is able to set those schools up, those universities up, and uh, do all that. He also was the one that was responsible for uh, moving the capital to Austin, even though many people thought it should stay in Houston. Um, so you have him to thank for that, that the state capital is in Austin, Texas, instead of Houston. Um, and then he did rebuild the Navy, He, which, you know, do you think is a good good or bad? That's, that's your opinion. Uh, whatever you choose to decide on that is, is going to be up to you. Um, but that, you know, it's not free. So he rebuilt the Texas Navy and all that, but at the same time, he also spent six million dollars in his presidency to do so. Now it's not all for the Navy, but adding eight ships to the Navy um, did uh, did boost up the military presence uh, for Texas, so uh, that's a positive. And that's basically it. So uh, it's a short recap of uh, Lamar's presidency. Uh, hopefully that is of some value to you. It's better than you know just reading it. Uh, you can actually have it explained to you in a little bit more detail. Um, but yeah, so that's Lamar and his presidency. Um, we'll be back with uh, Sam Houston 2 in the next video. Uh, hopefully you enjoy that one. Hopefully you enjoy this one. Hopefully you're getting something out of these. Um, if you are, then I'm doing a good job. If you're not, then hey, somebody is. So uh, if you, you know, not required to watch these, but... Uh, if you're getting some out of them, then uh, we're doing a good job. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.